What are these, Dolly? What are they? Monkey tools. Yeah. Hey everyone, the professor here with my first official review as myself and not impersonating some uh, random jackass with uh, 20,000 subscribers. Those of you who saw my first video will get that. And I thought, what better to start with for my first review than the tool so nice I bought it not once, not twice, but thrice. If the best way you can evaluate a decision is if you'd make it again, then I guess you could say I am doubly happy with this decision. Relative sizing, here's the dime next to some other multi-tools that are pretty popular. The Leatherman Squirt PS4, probably its main competitor. Uh, this is a Leatherman Wingman. It's a decent sized multi-tool. Here's the Ozark Trail multi-tool. It's kind of chunky. And this is a Leatherman Juice S2. So as you can see, size. It's a little bit fatter than the PS4, but it's in that same sort of size category. Here's the dime versus some other popular EDC choices, such as your Zebra F701 pen, a couple blade choices for EDC, your Benchmade Griptilian, nice choice, your Spyderco Endura 4 in VG10, here's your Streamlight Stylus Pro, popular EDC light, and finally, for you Americans, a 9mm round. This is a full metal jacket, I would recommend a hollow point, but nevertheless, a popular EDC choice in America. Here it is next to some things you probably have lying around the house, a playing card, a six-sided die, or D6 if that's how you roll, a ruler if you want to know really how this thing measures. If you include the bottle opener, it's a little bit shorter than uh, two and three-quarters inches. If you don't consider that part of it, you're looking at more like uh, two and three eighths. It is thicker than your triple A, similar to your double A, or right at around half an inch thick. Lastly, since this is a dime, here it is next to another dime and a quarter and a US dollar. This is uh, the first one that we bought Got this at a Bass Pro. This package opener, this right here, really is worth the price of admission, especially if that price is $15. You can't really beat this. And it keeps you from putting you know, extra wear on a tool that you spend a little bit more money on, like an EDC blade. We liked the package opener specifically so much that I decided I needed one to carry around with me all the time. That's why this one came from a Target. Uh, I've not seen these blue ones on Amazon. And you can see it's got a little bit of pocket wear. And then my wife wanted one for her purse. So, there you go. Triply useful. I'm going to take this one mostly out, but I wanted to show some of the various colorations and show in the all black, you get all black tools. In the blue, and I believe this is also the case in the green and the red, although I don't personally own them, the tools are silver. And in the purple, at least, the tools are also all black, while the scales are purple. I'll start with the tool that I always tell people is worth the price of admission by itself, and I can understand why Gerber put this right next to their company name, the package opener tool. This is the perfect tool for cutting into all of your clamshell packages, uh, packaging tape. We keep this black dime by the door that we bring our Amazon packages in through just for this right here because this tool is worth it right here by itself. It is a chisel ground but it is perfectly sharp out of the box to open all your clamshell packaging needs and I'm sure you could sharpen it down the road if you so desired. The second sharp point and uh, what a lot of people think of when they think of a multi-tool is this blade it is a spay shaped blade here. It is about one and three eighths of an inch. And unlike most blades that you're going into at this sort of size, it is actually full flat ground and not chisel ground, which is kind of nice. Effective enough for cutting. Uh, I don't actually use this length of blade all that often myself. The other cutting tool, which I do find I use a bit more often, 
are your scissors here. And these scissors, they have a good uh, spring tension on them. And they are strong enough to cut, uh, say, your basic copy paper. Uh, the thing I find I've actually cut with them on multiple occasions is a drinking straw. If you've got a toddler, kids drink while out. And the cup is short, but they give you a full-length straw, and you want to cut some down, you can do that with this right here. The straw is usually longer than the scissors themselves, but start to cut, and then clip it. And it cuts off uh, pretty clean right there. So that's pretty useful by itself. Beyond those tools, you get into the driver bits, which here is your standard slotted driver. This works for your slotted screw heads. It is not great as a prying action because you can see how thin it is. You can also use it to pull staples, I know. You can slide them underneath the staple and just kind of flick it up. And if you want to pry with the dime, open it up halfway, put it into there, and then you can uh, grip it so that you're holding this side closed, slide the bottle opener tool up against what you're trying to pry with, and you can see you've got this whole length as a lever arm that you can really ratchet with. Depending on what you're trying to pry, this would be the best way to pry, I think, with the dime. It gives you the most lever to do so. Uh, on the other side of this is your mini driver, or your small Phillips head slash really small slotted screws. Um, this comes to a pretty good taper. I don't know if I can get it to focus on that. But we'll maybe there. And this works for small screws. We've used this in kids' toy screws. That's kind of a theme with some of my reviews, because I do have a toddler. It works. Now, the first real ding I will give this tool is there is a file on this, and you can see it's got one-way patching and then sort of a crosshatch file. But this file is next to worthless. On this crosshatch side, you can see the uh, lanyard ring gets in the way and takes some of the limited useful length already on this thing and cuts it down. And then on this side, you can get to more of it, but it's still just not that big of a file. It's also not a file on the ends, so you can't use it in that way. But that's all the externally pulled tools. Then you always have this bottle opener here. And this is a pretty serious bottle opener for the size. And also, if you don't like the uh, lanyard ring here, you can clip your keys around this thing, especially if you don't open a lot of bottles, to have a good solidness. The next ding I will bring up is if you don't like this form factor, if you don't find yourself opening a lot of bottles, it looks like you can remove this bottle opener using these bits. But for this blue model, at least, I actually tried that, and these Torx bits, I was going to strip them out if I had kept grinding on it. I don't know if you can see that on this one. So even though this looks like you should be able to adjust it, I don't know that you can. Maybe with better quality tools you could. I'm not going to try it. And before I forget, beside the bottle opener, because this has thicker scales, you do get a pair of tweezers. Um, they certainly work. They come to more of a point here. Like that. So you can get to a really fine point, like to pluck a hair or something like that or pull a uh, tick off, or a splinter, so they work for that. Just always make sure you return them before you lose them, because it would be very easy to lose something like this, and I don't know if you can get replacements from Gerber or not. On the inside here, you got your wire cutters down here, and your pliers up here. And you can see here that the pliers only really make contact on the tip. So this is sort of a secondary tweezer set, if you will. It's also good, uh, I've used this to pull screws out of a packaging box. Screws going into cardboard, multiple layers. You can get a good hole on them and just pull. I've also used this to hold small nails. You can get around them. I'm sure it can grip nuts. I haven't personally used it for that. But um, they're not that wide of pliers, and they're not that strong of pliers. But for the size factor, once this is all folded up, you can keep this on your keychain, and you always have a pair of pliers with you, no matter how small they are. And that's nice. Which brings me to rating this tool. Utility on this Gerber dime here, 
I'd give it about a four. It's probably average utility, especially for the uh, size factor you're dealing with here. For awesomeness, I'm just going to give this a three. Cost of the dime is around $15 and some change on this. For a multi-tool, since this is around $15, it falls in the seven range. It's under 25, but over 10. So that's a pretty good value, an excellent cost. So I see value as utility times awesomeness over nine minus cost. So on the dime, value is going to equal utility is four times awesomeness of three over nine minus cost of seven. You get 12 over two or 6.0. Weight on this, here's my scale for multi-tools. This is about two and a half ounces. So I'm gonna put that in the excellent category for weight. It's between an ounce and two and a half ounces. The ergonomics on this thing, I would only say are fair. In your pocket, it pretty much disappears, but it is kinda of chunky. And the ergonomics when it opens, The parts that you actually put your hand against as pliers are open and flat. They're not painful or anything, but they're not amazing ergonomically. The click together of the pliers and even of the scissors for that matter is also not great, um, but not really bad, especially for, again, the size factor here. The only reason that this tool should ever get you into trouble legality-wise is that it has this blade on it. And the only people who really consider this blade a problem are going to be your government buildings and your TSA. So if you keep out of courthouses and buildings that are governed in that way, and you don't try to take this on a flight, it should be pretty legal. So I'm giving this a legality score of 6. It won't be legal everywhere but most places. So to review the dime here, a utility score of four or average, an awesomeness score of three or fair, a cost score of seven, excellent for a multi-tool between 15 and $20, a weight score of seven, excellent for a multi-tool at less than two and a half ounces, an ergonomic score of three or fair, and a legality score of six or great. So to summarize, reasons you may want to buy the dime First of all, the low cost, high value. At $15 and some change, this is really nice. Second, if you're wanting to add a multi-tool to your everyday carry, this is a very good choice. It carries well, and it's cheap if you lose it. Third, you get a full flat ground blade, as opposed to a lot of the competition at this similar size is going to be a chisel ground. You also get a solid bottle opener, which can also be used as a prying tool. You incorporate tweezers into your EDC very easily and you get the package opening tool that I've mentioned so many times before, really is worth the price by itself. Reasons to not buy a dime include that it does visibly wear relatively quickly. It does show pocket wear, although if you like your tools that look like you've been carrying them for a while, that may be a positive thing. But if you want a pristine looking tool, this is not the tool for you. Also, I've heard there may be some quality assurance issues with Gerber releasing some of these with knife blades and package openers that are not sharp out of the box. You may also be upset that the torques are something of a lie. It appears that you should be able to take this apart, but you can't. On top of that, you can't remove the bottle opener that sticks out if you don't appreciate it, even though it appears that you could. And if you already carry a multi-tool, it may not be worth trying to incorporate the dime because you're not going to pick up a lot of added utility, especially if you carry something larger. So that's kind of the wrap on this. It's a multi-tool so nice, we bought it three times. If you just were going to buy it once, I would say it makes a decent purse carry or pocket carry, or it makes a really good uh, package opener, something to keep near your front door. This is my first review. Uh, I would like this to be representative, but I am going to grow as a reviewer. If my future subscribers have any recommendations for ways to change things, I am certainly open to suggestions for improvement. For today, class dismissed.